Hello friends, welcome back to Glam Queen DIY and if you're new, my name is Tammy and welcome, welcome, welcome and for today's do-it-yourself vlog video I am going to be showing you this amazingly beautiful wall art if that sounds interesting, make sure you keep watching Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. Alright you guys, I am showing you my canvas here. And you guys, this canvas is a 44 by 72. My supplies are my staples, my staple gun, my glitter. And you guys, I use three types of glitter. Regular fakes, ultra fine, and holographic glitter. I'm using some crushed uh, vase filler from Hobby Lobby and also the crushed vase filler from Dollar Tree as well. And my shower curtain, you guys, came from Amazon. I will include all links down in that description. And this is what it looks like. Now, you guys, because this is so oversized, we're going to Take, a take our time with it, excuse me. We're just cutting the top edge off of the shower curtain to remove the hook portion for the shower curtains. Now once we cut it, I'm going to fold it in half. And you guys, I am using half of the shower curtain for this project. Make sure you come back, should be on tomorrow or if not the very next day to get the DIY that we use the other half of the shower curtain for and once again we're just cutting it now if you're watching and this is your first time here you guys make sure you do hit that subscribe button tap the bell twice it turns blue and you'll know when I am uploading now for the month of August we are uploading content every day then you will also be getting sponsored um uh, featured content you guys that will be coming at 11 either 12 a.m. so some days you will be getting two videos and some days three because we are creating a few shorts for some of the projects that we are bringing you so be mindful of that for the month of August and to you guys thank you so much for my oldest but goodest for continuing to rock out with your girl we are on that road for that 50k please share the channel with your family and friends and we appreciate each and every one of you so very much now i did like i did on that other shower curtain video you guys i stapled it to high heaven i toughed those corner and edges and because this canvas is so big you guys I could not give you a whole overview like I wanted to now this is that crushed glass from Dollar Tree and this is the crushed glass from Hobby Lobby as you can see there's a difference in the color and you guys because I am going to elevate this shower curtain wall art I am going to be adding this crushed glass on there and we're not going to stop there. Make sure you follow me along and you're going to see what all of those supplies was for. And I'm just creating a little border of kind of what I want this picture to look like. And I will tell you guys, I was opting just to add my crushed glass in certain places, but I changed it at the end. And as you can see, you guys, I am adding this crushed glass in with my hot glue. You heard me correct. My hot glue. Now, I will tell you guys, if you try this project, I promise you it is a simple and very, very, very easy project to do. Just be mindful. You must have a lot of glue sticks on hand, which in turn, I will include the link for my glue sticks down in the description box. I did purchase my glue sticks on bulk from Amazon. And you guys, I've had these large glue sticks 
for about two years and with this project it took out all uh, the large one and you guys it's very very affordable the large buck glue stick box was only like $22 so bear that in mind so make sure you just follow me along and I'm just going to keep repeating this process here until I get all of my rocks laid in And as I clean it up, I go back and add in that crushed rock where I actually need it. And some spots I just added more in to raise it more off the canvas to give me a 3D look. And you're going to see I'm going to try different styles till I get my method down packed. But it's all it is, you guys, is hot glue, pour your rocks, hot glue, pour your rocks. And as you can see here, I went in and I wanted to give more detail to this picture. And you see these green rocks. And you guys, this was from Dollar Tree well as well. Now you guys, all of this still came out of my stockpile. Now you guys, I did purchase the shower curtain from Amazon maybe two or three months ago. But physically, this project only cost me $5 and that was for the rocks from Hobby Lobby. Everything else, you guys, I did have already in my stockpile. So now I'm just continuing to add hot glue. And as you can see, I'm going to just pour those rocks on. Never mind the green color because you're going to see exactly what we're doing when we get closer to the end. Now, you guys, make sure you do talk to me down in the comments. I love hearing from you there and I just want you to know guys I will be bringing you quite a bit of wall art and wall decor. We do have a couple what I say very unique and unordinary pieces coming your way that I do think you will love but I will tell you uh, for your canvas purposes shop Hobby Lobby and Michaels but preferably Hobby Lobby when they do the canvas for uh, buy one get one uh, free which is like 50% for 50% off for each of your canvases so make sure you are shopping your stores or find you some nice canvases on Facebook marketplace or any of your thrift stores especially if you're going for the larger canvases now, as you can see here with that green, we're still not through yet. We're going to add some more in, but I'm going to show you here shortly, you guys, how it's going to look when you add that glitter on top of that green. You heard me right, you guys. I am putting that gold glitter on top of the green rocks, as you see here on the side. And you guys, it did give this painting an extraordinary 3d effect and i'm telling you right now it is the piece when everyone walks in my home and into the era that is in it is the talk of everyone that's coming in the space so make sure you do give us a try and once again it is truly simple and easy to recreate And now you guys, I am just adding the Mod Podge on top of that green uh, rocks or crust, um, crust vase fillers. So I'm going to get my words right here guys, but I'm just adding the Mod Podge on and I am adding it on heavily. You heard me right, I'm adding it on heavily and as you can see, I add it on then I let it sit for a little bit to kind of give it a chance to start forming some of, the, of its tackiness. So between applying the March Podge and pouring in the glitter, you guys, it was about a 40, about a 45 second um, delay, almost a minute in between, because I was really putting the March Podge on very heavily for it not only to hold my glitter, but to secure any of that crushed rock that did not 
adhered tightly with the hot glue. And as you can saw when I was putting in the hot glue, that's why I was pressing it down, you guys, to make sure it was smashing inside of that hot glue. I did use two different types of glitter, and you're gonna see that on the end, and I actually did love the end result. And we're still adding hot glue. And you guys, make sure you're watching the video to the end. I always include some useful information for you down in my description box. So make sure you do always check that out. Always check out my affiliate links and my discount codes. I, if you're not charged extra for using any of my links and discount codes. Some of the links I do receive a commission on, some I do not. Some I just place there to make sure that you guys, if you're in, interested in some of the items that I do use, for you to get a discount in your purchase of them. And two, you guys, make sure that you do check out our other channel, our home decor channel, Her Home Is. Every DIY that you do see done, here on this channel or all the content that you see here done on this channel you will see it featured on her home is and that channel you guys we're in the process of boosting that channel as well so make sure you do subscribe to that channel share it with your family and friends and we do have that channel on the road to the 10k followers so you guys thank you so much for always rocking out with your girl now let's finish this oversized unique and beautiful shower curtain that's a little bit extra wall art Now here's one of my useful tips you guys when you are pouring glitter on you and as you can see I do have kind of an outline as you can see I pour all of my edge first then I go back and fill it. Purpose for me is once you get that outline you can kind of shake and it kind of controls where you're dropping the glitter instead of going everywhere. Now, as you can see here, the different types of glitter. You can see the color in here. And you guys, this is how I clamped it up. I just took my construction paper, my handy dandy paintbrush, you guys, after I made sure it had dried, fully dried, that is. And I just brushed off all of the excessive glitter. <clears throat> You heard me right. I literally brushed off all of the excess glitter. And what I did in between that you did not get to see was once I brushed it off, if I had a spot that actually needed more glitter, I went back and filled it in. But with me heavily coating it, you guys, I don't think I had to add glitter in but in one spot. That's it. And I did this for the whole entire project. I just brush, brush, brush till I got all of the excess glitter out. Always save your glitter because that's how you save your coins. And just add your glitter back in your container. And as you can see, I'm brushing it here still off the side. Now once I did that, I came back again. Now you see it's white all over again. That is because I'm adding my last layer of Mod Podge to my glitter to make sure it is actually secure you guys so I don't have glitter fallout everywhere and you guys I do like using glitter I just don't like the fallout I do have a video you guys that I am going to include down in the description and I do think I put it in as the fifth of the it's that fifth I card somewhere on back in the video that on how to seal glitter and prevent glitter fallout if you like glitter projects you definitely 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 should check out that video on how to prevent glitter fallout
And now I'm giving you a close-up view of us adding in this Mod Podge to seal my glitter for the final time. And I did do this process here, you guys, twice just to be sure for my end so that I don't have glitter everywhere. Now, you guys, please don't forget, make sure you do subscribe to Her Home Is to see the style in my home. And also, if you're still watching and you're not a family member of Glam Queen of DIY, hit that subscribe button. Now, you guys, this is that canvas displayed on my wall. And I will tell you, it is displayed here in my kitchen. And I'm just letting you see how massive this painting is. Once again, this painting is a total of 72 inches. It almost takes up from floor to ceiling. And you guys, I am loving it. The colors. And you'll have to see it together as a whole in the whole entire space. I promise you guys, I think you will be amazed look at all of the details on this um, shower curtain wall art now you guys you can take your shower curtain you can take a bed spray in a curtain for that matter and create a fabulous piece of wall art you may be like me you may be just a tad bit extra or a lot extra as i am and just add anything to it to enhance it but i'm telling you i truly 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 love the look of this canvas and as you can see here up close the definition of that 3d effect and also the different colors now you can see the different coloration of that crushed rock as well which i am just so in love with so you guys drop me a comment if you're liking this wall art and leave me a comment if you want to see more i will tell you we do have more wall art coming your way now if you've been rocking with your girl for a while you know i can't close out without letting you know to always 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 be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move we'll see every one of you guys in another upcoming video and remember for the month of vloggers you will be getting content every single day you guys between five and six p.m eastern standard time you will also be getting our sponsored feature content coming at 11 a.m or 12 noon so whenever we do have featured content it will be shown at 11 a.m or 12 noon so make sure for this month you are actually coming back here on the channel at least three times a day if you're not getting notification you guys will see you in another video have a blessed and wonderful day